Welcome to my channel Books and Knowledge. This channel is all about books and knowledge. In this channel we teach you various subjects uh, online. The students who cannot go uh, to any institutes or they don't have proper classes in the university or colleges. Uh, so we prepare them for their competitive exams, for their bachelor's degree, for their master's degree and uh, we discuss various books, research papers and much more. All these videos are in English so they will be benefiting all the people who have the medium as English but if you want me to explain uh, these things in Hindi also with the English terminology I would do that so please subscribe the channel share with your friends and also mention that in which language you are more comfortable to understand the basic uh, uh, terminology or the uh, the slides would be in English only so I would like you to interact uh, whenever you watch a video so that we can connect better and you can understand better and I would also know the needs of the students who are looking forward to these videos so let's begin today again we come with the second chapter of psychology this is the second lesson first uh, I've already done where I have given you the introduction. So today we are going to take up the definitions of psychology. So let's take up few definitions given by a very famous psychologist. So the first one is Skinner. He says that psychology is the science of behavior and experience. That means the study is about the behavior of man and his experience. Second one is Crow and Crow. Psychology is the study of human behavior and human relationships. Again, the same kind. Uh, it is all about behavior of human beings. How one man behaves with the other. So, and the relationships which are given birth through the behavior of man. McDowell, psychology is the science which aims to give us a better understanding and control of the behavior of the organism as a whole. See, it is not just the study of behavior. It is also the understanding which gives uh, a proper um, a development of behavior. It is not just that you, it gives you the types of behavior, but it improves. It gives a better understanding and control of the behavior. Kafka says, psychology is the scientific study of the behavior of living creatures in the contact with the outer world. Now, again, behavior, they are all talking about that psychology is the study of behavior of humans of living creatures living creatures you get all the animals how they behave in a particular situation uh, and according to the uh, an, uh, outer world that means the inner world reacts to the outer world of the living creatures then Dewey says psychology is the science of the facts of phenomena of self you know different patterns are followed of different people so it reveals the facts, the situations of those uh, patterns, phenomena of life. Woodsworth says, psychology is the scientific study of the activities of the individual in relation to his environment. Again, the same thing that how an individual reacts to his environment. There are different uh, environmental conditions and the different uh, relation connected by the individual. So psychology is the scientific study of that. So these were the different definitions of psychology. Now let, let us take up the different branches of psychology. So there are two basic branches, pure psychology and applied psychology. See pure is directly connected. It has uh, the complete structure, framework. It has the principles, the theory. It's like a subject. Uh, and the complete framework is of the subject. It has various methods, various techniques to analyze, to assess, to modify, to improve the behavior. That is a complete theoretical part where there are different principles, different theories for 
when you want to analyze, when you want to assess, modify something or improve your behavior. So the types of pure psychology, general psychology, abnormal psychology, social psychology, experimental psychology, physiological psychology, development psychology and many more. So these are different types of psychology, different fields of psychology. Uh, so this is direct, this is pure psychology. The second one is applied, where the pure psychology is taken help of to do something. Applied psychology is the use of psychological methods and findings of scientific psychology to solve practical problems of human and animal behavior and experience. This is more of practical. That was the complete body pure and applied is how that pure psychology would help in various situations. How it will be applied. That's why applied psychology. So uh, various uh, ways it is applied uh, in mental health, organization psychology, business management, education, health, product design, agronomics and law are just few of the areas. So these are the areas where applied psychology is used. So let us take up the types of applied psychology like clinical psychology in treating a person. Counseling. You have counselors in schools and colleges. You have counselors at various places where people uh, they need some kind of guidance if they are in depression. A psychologist counsels them. Then education psychology, this is the major part which we will be doing in uh, future videos that how psychology can be applied in learning and teaching. That is in imparting education and in gaining education. Then there are various others like evolutionary psychology, industrial and organization, organizational psychology, legal, uh, neuro, then uh, many others like there are all mentioned here there are various types of applied psychology but we are mainly concerned with educational psychology it is a branch of psychology concerned with the scientific study of human learning how a human gains knowledge how a human learns when he comes to this world how his brain reacts to the outer situations the study of learning processes from both cognitive and behavior, how he takes in and how he behaves. The different perspectives are explained by educational psychology. It is the study of how humans learn and retain knowledge, primarily in educational settings like classrooms. This includes emotional, social and cognitive learning processes. See, all this we will be taking in detail in our next coming videos we would be doing education psychology because this is mentioned in most of the competitive exams like first grade uh, school teachers, school lecturers exam and various others. So this is a major part of your B.Ed studies also and uh, your uh, bachelor's, master's if you have taken the same subject and the competitive exam. So stay tuned. And do not miss any of the videos. Go and watch our first introductory video and then this one and wait for the next videos. So, share, subscribe and comment. Thank you. Take care of videos. English language may he explain kare hai. Un sabi logon ke liye jinka medium English hai. ऐसा माना जाता है कि हिंदी के तो काफी वीडियोस हैं मतलब हिंदी में एक्सप्लेन करे हुए साइकोलॉजी पर बहुत सारे वीडियोस अवेलेबल हैं बट इंग्लिश में बहुत कम है तो बहुत ज्यादा डिमांड थी कि इंग्लिश में ही एक्सप्लेन किया जाए सारी टर्म्स इंग्लिश में हो फिर भी अगर आप चाहते हैं कि मैं यही इंग्लिश की टर्म्स को लेते हुए इंग्लिश की स्लाइड्स को बनाते हुए आपको अच्छे से एक्सप्लेन करूं हिंदी में भी 
तो आप जरूर बताइएगा और इस वीडियो का मैं एक ब्रीफ एक्सप्लेनेशन हिंदी में दे देती हूँ कि यहाँ पर हम बात कर रहे हैं डेफिनेशन ऑफ साइकोलॉजी की और ब्रांचेस की तो डेफिनेशन जो डिफरेंट दी गई हैं स्किनर क्रो एंड क्रो मैकडोल कॉफका ड्यूई और वुड्सवर्थ की तो वो सब बिहेवियर के बारे में है कि वो एक साइंस है साइकोलॉजी साइंस है या स्टडी है ह्यूमन बिहेवियर की और ह्यूमन रिलेशनशिप की तो सबकी एक तरह से मिलती जुलती डेफिनेशन uh, हैं और देखिए uh, जो साइकोलॉजी है उसकी टू मेजर ब्रांचेज होती हैं एक है प्योर साइकोलॉजी दूसरी है अप्लाइड साइकोलॉजी जो प्योर साइकोलॉजी है वो एक तरह से पूरा सब्जेक्ट है जो सब्जेक्ट का कंटेंट होता है जो उसका पूरा स्ट्रक्चर होता है उसमें प्रिंसिपल्स उसमें के नियम उसकी थियोरी पूरी की पूरी और जिस जिसकी मदद से एनालाइज करा जा सकता है सेस किया जा सकता है मॉडिफाई किया जा सकता है एंड इम्प्रूव किया जा सकता है तो इसकी जो ब्रांचेज हैं वो हैं जनरल साइकोलॉजी एब नॉर्मल सोशल एक्सपेरिमेंटल फिजियोलॉजिकल और डिवेलपमेंट और जो दूसरी तरीके है वो अप्लाइड है मैंने इसकी मदद से क्या किया जा सकता है मतलब इसको अप्लाई करना इसको वेरियस फील्ड्स में अप्लाई करके इसकी मदद लेना और डेवलपमेंट uh, या ग्रोथ की तरफ बढ़ना तो ये वाली जो है ये मेंटल हेल्थ को इम्प्रूव करने के लिए होती है डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को कैसे चलाना है उसके पीछे की साइकोलॉजी बिजनेस और को कैसे मैनेज करना है एजुकेशन को कैसे देना है लर्न कैसे कराना है स्टूडेंट्स को कैसे मतलब आपको अच्छे से पढ़ाना है टीचर की को क्या क्या मेथड्स इस्तेमाल करने चाहिए और स्टूडेंट को किस तरह की क्लासरूम सेटिंग देनी चाहिए ये सब कुछ तो बहुत सारे ऐसे कई ब्रांचेस हैं जो हम इसमें देखते हैं अप्लाइड साइकोलॉजी में लेकिन हमारा मकसद है एजुकेशनल साइकोलॉजी करना क्योंकि ये आपके बहुत सारे कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स का के सिलेबस में है जैसे स्कूल लेक्चर या फर्स्ट ग्रेड के पूरे आपका एजुकेशन साइकोलॉजी एक पूरा पोर्शन है जो काफ़ी मार्क्स का होता है तो इसलिए आप हमारे साथ बने रहिए इस चैनल पर अच्छे से आप हमारे सारे वीडियोस का अध्ययन करिए पढ़िए इंग्लिश में भी मैंने बता दिया आपको हिंदी में भी इसका ब्रीफ दे दिया है तो ऐसा ही ठीक रहेगा कि शुरू में पूरा इंग्लिश कर दें और आखिर के तीन चार मिनट में हम लोग इसका हिंदी में देख लें तो चलिए जल्दी ही मिलते हैं